And we are back. St. Madeline Sophie Center is a remarkable place in El Cajon, and it enables those with developmental disabilities to live up to their potential and with great joy. They were the recipients of an NBC Universal Foundation grant earlier this year. On Saturday, August 4th, I've got the great honor of emceeing their big fundraiser. Board President joining us right now, Tony Petruzzo is here. Tony, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. First of all, tell us about Sophie Center and what they do and what they provide. I mean, I was just blown away when I would visit the center. That's true. You do get blown away when you do visit the center. Uh, the campus is located out in El Cajon, and uh, it does service individuals with developmental disabilities mm -hmm. from uh, high school age all the way up to seniors. They help them with life skills so they can go into the community and be a part of the community and feel empowered. And this is some of the video that we shot there when we were there. And there are a lot of artists there that are simply amazing. And I know a lot of like that, yes. Mark Rimlin wrote that book and um, it sold quite well. And it's just a great, amazing story. And there are meals there that you provide too. Yes, they do food preparation. They provide meals. They do computer skills. They have a beautiful organic garden and they uh, cultivate various different kinds of succulents and sell them to the public. They do out, go out into the public and help out with various jobs. I know a couple of them are at the casinos and other areas in San Diego. And of course, we have an incredible group of artists. So tell us about the event Saturday, August 4th. It's Born to Sparkle and it is at the San Diego Hilton from 10 to 2. Our uh, event is going to be looking forward to having at least about 700 people. Wow. And we will have a luncheon, fashion show. The students will also be doing a fashion show. We will have vendors, uh, silent auction, live auction. And you're going to be helping raise a lot of that money for us. And so that money, it's really important, right? Because they don't get a lot of government money. No, no. Most of it is from the regional center or from donations that we can get from the, from the uh, community. Okay. But we are looking for a very, very big fashion show and raising a good amount of money. Okay. Tony Petruzzo, thanks very much. See you August 4th. We'll Thank you. A lot you. of people join us too. Greg, back over to you. Sounds like a great event. Thanks, Greg.